what is up you guys and welcome back so as you guys can see today i'm going to be showing you guys how i basically pre-poo my hair how i hydrate it and how i style it right now my hair is dry as fuck literally dry look like cactus cheeks that's how dry my hair is so right now what i'm about to do is use a mixture of water and uh, leave-in conditioner and I'm about to spritz that on my hair to dampen my hair and to basically get it wet pause I'm about to work this through my hair to get it all through the strands and everything like that and then after that I'm going to be adding some more ingredients alright right now I'm about to detangle my hair with my wide tooth comb and I'm gonna work through the two sections I have the first section is right there and the other section is pinned up or just slapped on top of my head and I'm gonna do this for a good until it's completely detangled Now I'm about to use my oil mixture, which is just coconut oil, olive oil, and peppermint oil. And I'm going to work this through my hair from the roots to the ends. My ends really needed some life, so I definitely need it for my ends. Now I'm going to use the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer to help add a little more moisturizer to my hair and to seal in that product. Now I'm about to two strand my hair, this two strand twisted, how the rest of it is and call it a day. Now I'm about to wrap my hair up with a plastic bag to do the um, greenhouse method. And I'm gonna use my satin scarf as well to lock in that heat and use this overnight do this overnight and then come back in the morning So I am back and as you guys can see my hair is freshly washed and I'm now I'm about to start the process of doing my hair which is just making sure it's hydrated and moisturized not too much of a good pattern but you can see my hair is definitely hydrated I'm about to go back in with my leave-in conditioner as you guys seen from the night before and I'm going to apply that to my hair. I'm going to section my hair off first into a little bit of smaller sections so that way the parting and you know the whole sections can be done properly without any and evenly distributed throughout my whole hair is what I was trying to say. Now I'm going to detangle my hair with my denim brush. Uh, this is probably one of the best brushes I have. This works through dry hair with wet hair. It's very versatile to use. And it's probably like the best one out there. Probably not. Now I'm going to go back in with the Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer. This junk smells really good. 
It smells like peaches, mangoes, all that good stuff. And I'm going to use that and I'm going to work that through my hair from roots to the ends. As you guys. back as you guys seen that i just used an oil and two strand my hair up now i'm about to complete that for the rest of my head and come back in 10 minutes so it technically didn't take me 10 minutes it took me about a five minutes as you guys can see i am finishing up my hair with the two strand twist and i'm going to complete this and then after this i'm going to show you guys how hydrated and moisturized my hair is because your girl hair is definitely moisturized, oiled up, looking hydrated, looking fresh and clean. Edges is not on fleek, but I got my edges, so that's a good thing. <laughs> but yes, a close up to what it looks like so you guys can see it's oily. I had a little bit of breakage, but you know. That happens sometimes when your hair is dry and you have not been taking good care of your hair. Now, I'm actually going to see you guys tomorrow after it's completely dry. So I can show you guys how to style it the way I'm going to style it. See ya. What is up you guys? I am back finally with a dry hydrated hair. As you guys can see, now I'm about to take these out to show you guys what it looks like out. So let's get it going. So I'm about to use coconut oil to help get to take the uh, braids and stuff down like that. I already have some on the spoon, so I'm gonna just use that to, you know, take the braids down. I'm gonna start from the back though. I'm just going to take them all out first and then I'm going to fluff them all out. You know what I'm saying? See the nice, ooh, the nice little curl pattern right here. As you guys can see, I don't want the, you know, the natural hair goals coming after me for how I'm taking it out. So, ooh, I like this. All right, so I'm going to take these out, like all of them out. Then I'm going to be right back. I am back with them all taken out. Now it's time to take them all out, like fluff it up. Let's see how it's going to look first. I'm not first time. Well, this is going to be my second time actually doing this. But the last time I used something like gel to help bring up the curl pattern out. Like a little more, like more definition and everything like that. But I'm not gonna wear it in this style. I'm actually gonna like, literally like do my two braids like I always do the braid that you guys always see me in. I'm going to fluff the rest of this out and then I will be back in two minutes, I'm assuming. Be back in two minutes. I'm back. This is what it looks like. Nice curls, you know what I'm saying? A nice little definition. I hate when my hair does that sometimes, but it does that sometimes. You guys can see the little curl pattern in it, right? But this is not how I'm wearing it, you know what I'm saying? 
but this is kind of cute. Modeling for you guys for a little bit. Now, I can actually wear it like this instead, but I'm not going to. So, I'm going to put it in my protective hairstyle that I always wear. But before I do that, I need to oil my scalp and just get the oil. I really don't. I'll put oil in and everything. Alright, make sure my edges and stuff are intact. You feel me? So now I'm just gonna my hair is really soft, really soft, like really hydrated, as you guys can see. Ooh, like I had a mall spot, but I don't. This is a really cute hairstyle. I like it. Now it's time to now it's time to get to braiding. This is my this is my go-to protective uh, hairstyle that I always go to. Right. using the camera as a mirror you can do this any way you want you can do a zigzag you can you know do a little swoop d what i mean by swoop d is part it from this way and whatever and then have most of the hair coming this way versus doing like two an even middle part i want to see I got a shave, look at that. Mm, I can just wear it like this too. Mm, so many ideas. I'm back and I'm gonna be using my satin hair uh, silk, satin pattern, satin hair tie that was made by Trey, Tracy Ellis, Diana Ross's uh, daughter. She plays in Blackish. She plays in Girlfriends, you know. All right, so close to show you guys how I braid my hair, right? And by the way, I'm also getting my hair done this week, so I have to do a little nice, little simple style before I get my hair done. Not too much manipulation because I'm saying not too much manipulation, but I'm braiding it. I do my little three strand twist. That's what these call it, right? Flow corn rolls. I usually don't put nothing in my hair besides like oil and stuff. I don't add too many products because I don't want too much buildup on my hair. But you guys to be able to see this, you know, the pattern comes to life. Like I said, my hair is really soft, like legit soft, like really soft. So I'm gonna do both sides and then I'm gonna be back once I'm done with both sides to show you guys the finished product, I will be back. I'm not a really good braider, so please don't judge me. Alright, now I'm about to show you guys the finished product. So this is the finished product of my hair. And oily as hell. What? What the 
hell? An epic fail. How did I even let that happen? Oh, that's a little design of my hat. Not too much. A little frizziness. Can you see that? A little frizzy. I don't really add much to my hair, like I said. Oil to keep it like high moisturized, not hydrated. Well, both. I use coconut oil and then use my uh, oil oil mixture to. Oh, let's see. My hair is right here. So, how long do you guys think it is in the back? I don't have flexible arm. So, this is the finished product, you guys. That is it. That is all for this tutorial of you, of me showing you guys. Basically, not my full wash day, but what I do to prep my hair to like basically put it in a protective style or whatever. And yeah, so that is it that is all for this video guys make sure you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next video see ya